Mega Man X is the closest thing to a perfect game that we as humans have ever produced. The proof that we can't be all bad as a species if we could make something like this. And you know how it's great? Because there's so many things wrong with it. It's a real human condition, the truest reason Reploids can match humans. See, it's all about accepting faults in the things you hold dearest. I've realized that, and that's why I'm better than you. That's why I'm qualified to run down the list. We're only referring to the SNES original. If I was including the DOS port or the X collection, I'd have a few more. From the top. Why does this super advanced computer with this much RAM use command prompt? I'm actually not sure. Is that something it would actually do, or is it just a remnant of a DOS era? I guess as long as it doesn't run their Mega Man games, it's okay. It's kind of weird entering a password. Y to go up, B to go down, it's just weird to not use A in a menu. Mega Man X might have some glitches, but most of them need to be specifically triggered and they're there for fun. Except for this one, die at the same time Vio comes down, the game soft locks. At least you don't lose much progress. Yes, you have to try, but why is it possible to die in a scripted fight? And can you do it in the later fight with Vile? See you later? I get that you're casual with X Zero, but that's a total tonal shift from your previous lines. It's nice that you can see all the boss's attacks on the stage select screen. Except for Armored Armadillo, who's apparently so badly armed they had to count guarding as an attack. What button do you hit to start the stage? A? Start? Nope. Why? That L should be lowercase. Oh yeah, that's how particular we're getting here today. I'm not letting my writer's skill go to waste. Speaking of, I really don't feel like pointing out all the specific examples, but there's a bunch of missing commas and double ellipses and it's all wrong. Yes, it's very important to what makes X special over classic, and no normal player would ever want to, but it kind of bothers me that it's not possible to skip the dash without cheating with the passwords. Low percent challenge runs have to settle for just not using the dash. Because of the boots, your first Maverick will inevitably be Chill Penguin, which means your first weapon is going to be wrong. What is so shotgun about shotgun ice? It's not short range, it's not powerful, it doesn't have a spread until it hits a wall, it's all a misnomer. Hey, take a look at this. You can see right here, this platform has no turret, this one does. Now keep track of it as you get the sub tank. Since when did this platform have a turret, and now the one next to it has nothing? Okay, what does the head part do? Literally nothing but break blocks you hit. Great, when is that useful? Literally nowhere except getting the buster part. That you don't need to get. How nice that one of the few armor pieces is worthless. See that tiny bit of X's head before Storm Eagle's arena explodes? It's easier to notice when you're charging, but it shouldn't be there at all. Alright, so you used the headpiece in its one place to get the buster part. Dr. Light tells you it'll make your buster stronger, X demonstrates with a new level of charge shot. But isn't there something missing? Like the fact that you can now charge special weapons, that somehow managed to neglect being mentioned. I mean... Come on here. God, I hate this fucker. He sucks and he blows and I mean that. I don't usually have trouble anymore, but every once in a while he fucks me over all the way backwards. There's no in-between. I love Launch Octopus's intro where he tells you you're going down. Why is he the only one that gets something like that? Mm-hmm. Don't see anything wrong with that spelling? Mm-hmm. That looks right. All throughout the climb up Boomer Kawanger's tower, there's these holes in the wall. Platforms come out with these turrets on them until you get towards the top, at which point they just gave up and nothing comes out of the holes. Can't say they don't make you work for the body upgrade. You have to fight this RT-55J guy to get it. He's easy as hell with an attack pattern fans of X3 will recognize, but he takes so much punishment before actually going down. It's one slow spot in an otherwise fast game. Fuck you, Otto. Is he Otto? You know those blocks that fall on you in the caverns of Stink Chameleon stage? No, probably not, because they don't spawn if you go after the heart tank, like you're of course going to do. I guess going down here makes them fall when they can't hit you, and then they're gone when you go down the correct path. I don't know, I'm not a retro programmer. We finally located Sigma's fortress. Of course, finding one guy in the world is kinda difficult. Except the ending shows Sigma's fortress was on a floating island. 
How in the hell did the Maverick Hunters miss that? Are floating islands really so common that the one with the giant castle on it went undetected? Did they just assume Knuckles bought a new house? Well, we're not ready to take down Sigma yet. We've got unfinished business with Armadillo. One of the cool things that X1 does is change stages depending on what stages you've beaten before. Chill Penguin freezes over Flame Mammoth, Storm Eagle crashes into Spark Mandrel, Launch Octopus floods Sting Chameleon. So why is there no change between Boomer Kawangong and Armored Armadillo? The stage is the same, did they just give up at the end? I don't know if this is referencing something or if it's trying to get a specific inflection across, but I give you a special present is definitely not proper English. Well, if you enter the capsule, you get the ultimate weapon, the Hadouken. Sure, you have to be at full health, have to be on the ground, and have to perform the quarter circle forward, but it's insta-kill to anything. And all you have to do is reach this capsule with every item in the game and get up here five times because constant suicide is the only way to make it appear. In a time before the internet, how is anyone without magazines supposed to find this? Since when does a traditional Mega Man need a guide dang it? You went to all that effort to get the Hadouken, don't turn off the game. I get that passwords can't save everything, like how full every single subtank was, but is there any reason it can't save the Hadouken? Would it cause problems with requiring every other item first? End game. And Zero's gonna help you by clearing a path so you can get in. He did a great job. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright X, I've been planning your defeat for a long time. And in my head, you have to be right here. This is vitally important. The composition of the scene will be entirely wrong if you fall anywhere else. Even if you have to cheat to do it, it is possible to skip the dash. So why is it impossible to skip the buster upgrade? Zero gives it to you as a parting gift if you don't have it already, and you can't skip this stage with a password. It's not like you need it to beat the game, so why make it absolutely mandatory? Remember how in Mega Man 1 the boss rematches were spread out across the castle stages? And how they dropped that starting with Mega Man 2? It's back to that original style in this game. And it's not like they wanted it that way to differentiate the two series. They go back to the Mega Man 2 style starting with X2. Did they just think that's how the first game should be, or did they change their minds multiple times during development of these games? If I had to say one thing absolutely bad about Mega Man X, it's motherfucking Bow Spider. He slides down from the top of the screen in a way that's difficult to quickly predict, especially as he speeds up toward the end. And when he hits the bottom, he's only vulnerable for a brief moment, which makes aiming a Hadouken difficult. Even if you're good at the timing, he might throw down small spiders right as the fight starts to hit you and rob that super attack away. And just to spite me, he never did the spider attack on either of my recorded fights, so I can't even show it. Fuck this guy. Fuck all spiders. Bow Spider is the first time I might need to use some sub tanks, so that's when it's revealed that they're kinda broken. If they're not filled all the way, they barely do anything. Even if they're filled all the way, they might not fully replenish your health. And even if you use it at near full health, it'll still waste the whole thing. At least it's easy to grind back up between Sigma stages. Okay, it's not like any of the Sigma bosses are great. Wrong to Bangda is okay so long as you're careful. After a couple attacks from the eyes, the walls will close in, almost completely covering the eyes so the nose can have a chance to attack you. If you kill that nose, the walls will not open back up, so you have no room to maneuver to deal with the remaining, barely visible eyes. I took out the nose, not the eyes. I should still be able to see. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Well, despite all those problems the Hadouken can have, at least it's effective against Sigma. Except his final form. It's hard enough to even get high enough to hit his only vulnerable spot, but even if you do, it just doesn't work. <laughs> this enemy roll call is probably filled with translation errors. Who in their right mind would name something Gunvolt, but I don't know what they're supposed to be so I can't complain. Except this one. Velgwater. And finally, the most common mistake that pisses me off, Mega Man is two words. 
It's not unique to this game, it's so common that it rivals the correct spacing, but it's still wrong. He's a Mega Man, he's not Jim Megaman, to steal a joke. One word only refers to Mega Man Volnut and Mega Man EXE, and those are still capitalized. That's a message to all of you, okay? Two words.